What's up, everybody? And welcome back to A Beer Day with TK. I have a kind of special episode today as I found a, a beer from a brewery that no longer exists. Um, you may have heard me talk about this brewery in some of my earlier videos. The brewery is Black Cloister. They were from Toledo, Ohio. Um, while they're a bit, why they are of interest to me, a few years back I bid on an auction. The, the law school at the university where I work had uh, an auction. And one of the items was a gift pack from a couple of different breweries. Um, they had one from Columbus, and this one here was from Toledo, from Black Cloister Brewing in Toledo. I bid on it, and I won. I won a gift card. I won a glass, this glass here. I won a growler, um, but none of them had any beer in them. So I basically planned to stop by the brewery when I had time. So over the years, I've traveled from here to Detroit to go to the airport. You kind of drive right through, you know, through Toledo. Um, every time I stopped there, they were closed. Probably a few months back, Anderson and I were in Canada. Uh, we were on our way back from Canada. I guess this was pre-COVID, obviously. So we were hit, coming back from Windsor, Canada, and decided finally that would be the day we stop into Black Cloister. Uh, we get to use the gift card that I've had in my wallet for probably two years. We pulled up to the brewery, took a look. It looked a bit quiet. We walked up to look inside, and it had shut down. Um, I looked on the internet, it looks like it went out of business in September of 2019. So I guess just about a, a year ago, unfortunately, they went out of business. Um, I was kind of upset because I didn't really care about the gift card as much, but it's, you know, it was kind of my white whale. So uh, Ahab had Moby Dick, um, you know, Ahab had Moby Dick. I had this brewery and I wanted to try their beer pretty bad and I kind of thought I was out of luck. I happened to go to a local store today and I found about three of these on the shelf. They're 12 bucks. Um, so I didn't buy all three in case they're bad. Um, they got to be a little bit aged due to the brewery being out of business for a year. Um, but if this one's good, I'm going to go back and buy the other two. So I won't be mentioning in the comments where I purchased it until I buy the other two. Sorry. Um, if I get the other two, if this is good, I'll probably send one to Pete. He's hooked me up with some really good beers. So if it's good, Pete, I'll send the one your way. Um, so... I went and looked at the website, and they're called Black Cloister. And the reason that they're called Black Cloister is it was named after a, I guess, monastery in uh, Wittenberg, Germany, where Martin Luther had studied. So, you know, the, the famous theologian Martin Luther. Um, and this beer is called Chained Dog. Uh, it's a strong Belgian ale. And I actually found it untapped. It had a little blurb, I guess, that the brewery put out about the beer. I thought it was kind of cool. So I will read it for you. It says, in homage to the original duel, we have given this beer a devilish name with a twist. Martin Luther once said, the devil can do no more than a chained dog, which may bark, run here and there, and tear at the chain, but because it is tied and you avoid it, it cannot bite you. This beer bursts with flavor and aroma. First, you are enticed with notes of pear and banana. Then your palate will be washed with spicy floral notes to be followed immediately by a noticeable alcohol warmth. It will tempt you to drink it again and again, but be warned, this dog has bite. And it does. This one says 10% on the bottle. Um, when you look on the other beer apps, most of them said that they are around 9.3, but this one here says 10%. Um, the other beer sites, Untapped, gives it a 384, and there was 1,600 check-ins. Beer Advocate only had 11 check-ins, and it had a 4.25. Um, but overall... Pretty good rating, so I'm kind of excited to try this beer out. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, I know I should drink it out of a tulip glass, but this is probably the only chance I'll have to drink the Black Cloister beer out of a Black Cloister Pilsner glass, so I couldn't resist. I can smell it. It smells strong. Strong and sweet. It looks all right. Kind of a nice amber or orange kind of color to it. See the bubbles going crazy in there. A lot of firm, uh, a lot of uh, <laughs> carbonation going on there, man. Head pretty thick. It looks nice and rich. Kind of a caramel color. Smell. Sweet, kind of pick up the banana smell. A little something else going on there too. A little bit of spicy something. Hmm. Let's give this a shot. Yeah. 
you definitely know that that one's 10%. It is a little bit boozy, but it's a, a you know Belgian strong ale, golden strong ale. So that's what you kind of expect. Um, I actually think it has quite a nice taste. You kind of get the banana sweetness. It talks about pear. I don't know that I pick up the pear as much. You get the, the kind of banana taste. You get that candied sugar thing going on. Definitely pick up some cloves and some spices. This is a good beer. Um, I said, you know, you can taste the 10%, but it, it it's not offensive. A lot of times you get that really offensive um, alcohol bite. I don't think it has that. It's just there, kind of lingers in your mouth, and you know, like, this is a big boy beer, right? Um, this is no joke. I, this is kind of bittersweet and sad. Um, this is a really good beer. And at best, I'll be able to acquire two more of these bottles, and that'll be it. Um, so would I drink another one of these beers? Yeah, it gets the thumbs up. Will I get to? Probably, sadly, no. Um, I'll save one and trade it away, and I'll probably sit on the other one for a while just to, to have it, just to see what happens. Um, so Black Cloyster Brewing, sorry to hear you guys went under. You do really good beer. Hopefully one day you can make a comeback. Um, if, you, if you've been there, if you've had this beer, let me know what you think about it in the comments. If you like the video, please hit that thumbs up button. Give me a like. If you want to see more content like this, please hit subscribe. Till next time, cheers.